Okay. Welcome, Sagittarius. This is going to be your singles love reading. Okay, so let's see what's coming through. You could be in disconnect or in separation with somebody here. We do have the Dawn of Swords, so there is uh, someone here a bit immature when they communicate, but they're very curious to see what you're doing. Okay, they are wanting more information. Yeah, we have the Spirit of Cups and the Five of Rings. There's something here where somebody feels left out in the cold. This does feel like a, you know, something, like a lot of emotions here. There is a lot of emotions, I feel, within this uh, connection or within this person. But let's go ahead and grab, I just kind of want to see, like grab this energetic um, deck and see what you need to be aware of here. Okay, so Spirit is saying, stand in your power. Someone is trying to deceive you with their lies and charm. Hold your own. This deck is actually from um, Riki with Kiki. She created this beautiful deck. I love it. So I decided to use it for your reading. But it's perfect. Stand in your power. Someone is trying to deceive you with their lies and charm. So let's grab another one. And pay attention. There are spiritual shifts happening around you. Notice the messages that are sent to guide you. Okay, so those are your two energetic messages here to be aware of. Now let's get into the tarot and see what is going on. Those are very powerful messages there. Stand your ground. And Spirit is trying to send you messages. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups in your energy. We have, and this person or whatever's coming towards you, something feels like it's blocked. Okay, there's something blocked here. I, there's a, a sense of, uh, yeah, King of Pentacles is showing a deceitful energy, someone who may not be clear. In the past, it's showing some heartbreak, some like separation or some sadness here, grieving over certain things. This person is thinking very impulsive, okay, about you. They could be coming off very reckless. They could be saying things they do not mean. They could have some bad behavior or again, like, like uh, the card said, um someone's trying to deceive you okay but they are coming in pretty fast and like this card this knight of swords gemini libra aquarius can really represent someone who does things without thinking about the long-term consequences <clears throat> you are their wish fulfillment they're doing this because they're desiring you but i feel like they're going about it the wrong way because with again with the king of pentacles in the reverse Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, there is a sense of someone being deceitful. It's very clear on what's going on here, but it does show that this person is still desiring you here, Sag. Okay, there is a, in their future, there is a choice. There is a sense of feeling unsatisfied in the outcome. There's a want to persevere and hope for success, but there is a choice here and it's not an easy choice it does not feel like an easy choice at all hmm. it looks like somebody here Gemini Libra Aquarius strong air sign energy is coming up pretty aggressive pretty hurtful pretty cold very calculated likes to play games um that to be clear the king of 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 swords is you know upright is super intelligent they're they communicate directly they're not deceitful they're very um more logical but still compassionate but when it's in the reverse it's complete opposite it, they're a mess they're doing this for some type of control like i don't know what this may be with the king of swords but when it's in the reverse and this is what's coming towards you they could have blocked you for some or just blocking their energy or you're just feeling like they're they're like shutting down like turning cold and that's because they're operating this way because something here with deceit Okay, and again, they're impulsive. It doesn't feel like this person's very level-headed. Page of Wands. This is interesting. Eight of Cups. But when we have this Page of Wands, there's like a spark within you. There's like something in your energy is like, I don't want to lose myself. I feel like you're looking at things in a different way right now. You could be surrounding yourself with other people that bring happiness right now, okay? Coming out of something. 
because the page of wands is showing that there's a spark again, but you're not fully walking away as of yet, or maybe somebody's still holding on to you here. I do feel like you may be recovering from something here with the page of wands energy though, like this wands energy is more of like trying something new, curious about something, okay? This also can represent a message. Let's get the King of Pentacles. The star. I feel like this person needs a lot of healing. Okay, a lot of inner work. I feel this person may like be operating like this because they're hurt inside or they could be operating like this because they don't know how to work through their feelings. I feel there's a sense of, of, of healing with this, like a need for healing. It feels like a deep wounded person to be with this King of Swords and the King of, of, of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, we have past six of swords, five of swords. Someone's playing a game, an ending game. Someone with that five of swords, someone has the street full strategies and they're using the ending. They're using like, it's like feels like it's the end, but they don't really mean it's the end. Who it, like this is odd to see with three of swords twice. But the five of swords is here on top of this. Usually I would be like, well, this is a hurtful ending, right? Like somebody like is really heartbroken over this and they're hurt. But then you have the five of swords and it's like someone's being deceitful. It's like they, they're like trying to hurt you or possibly threaten. But it does feel like hurt. Could this be intentional? I don't know. But that's not a good energy there, especially with the five of swords on top of the death and the three of swords, like mind games, tension, conflict. Hmm. Someone's not, so, someone's thinking very um, unfair. They're thinking very sneaky. They're, they're lying. They're being deceptive. That's why they're coming in so impulsive, so fast so rushy, so quick to do things. Seven of Swords is not someone that has a clean conscience. Like something's going on with them. Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. I feel like this person's really heartbroken. Like what they're doing, I feel like they're really doing this to themselves because there is a sense of healing. You're at the Ten though with the Ten of Cups here with the page of wands, I feel you're recovering. I feel like you're starting to see through an energy here because you're constantly persevering. Okay. But with here, I don't know, you guys, this seems kind of odd because it's like a sneaky energy, five and seven of swords. Reverse even is not, it's still games. It's still being unfair. It's still, you know, there's some weird things going on here with this person but they are much in their head and it looks like they're doing this because they, they truly desire you but they're going about it the wrong way i don't know they're feeling stuck they're feeling stuck here they're feeling stuck on you you are their wish you are their wish but okay you see how your energy look at king of swords you could be dealing with a strong gemini libra aquarius sorry knight of swords and you're coming up as the king Male or female, does not matter. But this king is looking at this knight of swords and the seven of swords when you put it here. Like in this seven in this person here, it's like they're kind of looking like I see what you're doing. Okay, like this person was going to feel you catching on to certain things about them because they're stuck. They're going about things the wrong way and they're doing it very like fast, like something they're doing. I don't know they're, they're not thinking about the consequences. I feel you're, you're no longer inspired in the near future. You're no longer in like you're, cause this energy can be like lying to themselves. Okay. 
the Knight of Wands in the reverse, I feel there's a sense of this person not being honest with themselves, not being honest with you, and it could they could be caring too much about what other people think. This is a very insecure, I hate to use the word jealousy, but it, they can even be jealous of your character or how you handle things. So this can be a very unstable energy, okay, because of how this person, and I feel like it's turning you off. I feel like you're starting to see, and like it's making you feel like you need to make a choice. Okay, like you're, you're, you, it's like going more, like leaving the old or the familiar and going into new because of what someone is showing you here. There's a sense of a want of adventure in your energy. There's a sense of wanting new. There's a sense of wanting to be happy here, making yourself happy even. There's just a sense of like, Sagittarius not wanting to be sad, not wanting to you know, feel a certain way. And I feel like this is what you're holding on to is this 10 of cups. And this person, for some reason, is trying to take that 10 of cups from what I see, they're all reversed. And they're kind of looking at you as like confident, attractive. Well, let's keep going. Mm, there's some communication coming in the near future too so yep in the knight of swords you guys something here is happening pretty quickly very very quickly and some somebody wants to bring balance right back in the connection because they're feeling it crumble The challenge is uh, this person needs healing. They're not being self, they're not self-aware. It seems like with the seven of swords, they're thinking very, like they're being strategic and they're being sneaky and they're being hurtful and um, they're being calculated. Okay, this is something that they're doing, like a push and pull energy. And I feel like you're not having it. You're not having it. Something's leading you to a choice. And you're so, like something makes you feel unsatisfied here. Okay, let's get the lovers of oracles. See what's going on. See what we can get. There's a change happening. This situation can bring in a lot of anxiety, depression, or restlessness, or even panic attacks. But there's a change. It's like something going from romantic and it's changing now. Okay? It's bringing anxiety. It's like the romantic feelings were here, but something's changing. You're seeing something. You're feeling an energetic shift. And that's why I these cards just line up so well. And that's why it's so important to stand in your power if you are feeling that someone's trying to deceive you or charm you. Okay? So it's like pay attention to the shifts and that's what the change represents the shift Jeez. let's see if we get the confessions here it is easier to stay away i was hurt by you i am broken our connection is special this person i feel is a bit broken yes i mean i don't know there's a there, there's some weird way on why they're operating this way but deep down inside they desire you they think the connection's special but they're hurt and it feels like they're kind of acting like the victim but they're causing a lot of but they're in their mind they're being deceitful their actions you know is coming off deceitful Like when they're around you, they have to be, you, you can see through the, the BS, you know, and this person can't fool you. I don't know. It's like they don't want to believe it's their fault, but it's just showing that they are heart, they are broken. This, this could be why like that, that there's a need for healing and why there's so much deceit and dishonesty within themselves, you know. But there is some type of change happening, a shift that is happening, and it's so important to stand in your power. Let's get some advice from Spirit here. Change your tactics. 
the best way to fight evil is by making progress in the good. So there's something feeling evil here. Feeling like you're fighting evil, possibly. Think of back to a social situation in which you took command. Things work out if you entitle yourself. There is a significant other that admires this quality in you. Serve people whenever you can. Face the challenge by being open, okay? So stand true to yourself, okay? That's what that feels like. Let's grab the Moonology deck. Step up and lead, yeah, see, two cards. Stand up, step into your, stand in your power and step up and lead. You have Capricorn energy. Someone, again, is trying to deceive you. I keep feeling like that's what that is, especially with that Seven of Swords. And Full Moon and Taurus detoxify. Okay, so like clear your mind, meditate. Sometimes you got to detoxify from a person or an energy uh, to see things clearly. Let's grab a love message here for you guys. Sag. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibility. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. These are more of the love messages. You can follow them or not, but there's somebody that is thinking about you here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you, Saj. I really think there's a big choice ahead of you here. There is something that is very impulsive. Someone doesn't have the best intentions. It does feel like someone's causing a lot of challenges within the connection due to their behavior, their way of thinking. So, yeah. But again, I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helped. I hope it brought clarity. And if it did or helped in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon for your bonus readings. God bless.